One person in the hospital after a big rush hour crash. The wreck brought traffic to a standstill along I-43. Jonah Kaplan reports. We're here on I-43 in between the exit of Port Washington Road and Brown Deer Road. You can actually see the car. There it is. It was towed away, but look at the smashed glass, the front windshield. North Shore Fire and Rescue confirming everyone in the car made it out alive. The call came in just before 730. As many as five agencies from both Milwaukee and Ozaki counties responded. I couldn't believe it. I mean, this car was taking up both lanes on his back. He was completely flipped over. Bob Reed lives nearby. He didn't hear the crash, but he heard the aftermath. When you hear about 15, 20 sirens going on, you know that there's, it's serious. I mean, usually you'll hear one siren and it'll stop. Today I heard eight and nine sirens, and then all of a sudden they stopped right here. So I knew this was a serious accident. North Shore Fire and Rescue officials confirmed the 49-year-old driver walked away from the crash and was taken to the hospital by ambulance. A preliminary investigation suggests a medical condition caused the driver to lose control. As I see these, these skid marks here, he had to come off the road for something. He hit that sign and you can barely see that the, the marks going back onto the road. Hundreds of drivers could only wait as crews cleared the scene. Traffic finally opened more than a half hour later. The other startling thing about this crash is the weather. It's a non-factor. A perfectly fair morning, no rain, no clouds, and certainly no ice on the roads. In Bayside, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. The driver taken to St. Joe's Hospital for his medical condition. Fire officials say he would have been taken a freighter if there was trauma.